This video aims to give you more information about radiotherapy for prostate cancer at the Northern Radiotherapy Network. Whether you are coming for radiotherapy in Middlesbrough, Carlisle or Newcastle, the treatment you receive will be standardised across our network. It is just the location and the setting that will be different. Prostate cancer, as most people are aware, is one of the commonest cancers that we treat. I guess that one of the first things that I would therefore say is that this is something that we, we treat a lot of patients in this position. And whilst everyone is unique in their individual circumstances, treatment is delivered by staff that are therefore doing this on a day-in, day-out basis. They have a huge amount of expertise treating patients and by and large, patients tolerate treatment exceptionally well. What is radiotherapy? Radiotherapy is the treatment of cancer using high-energy x-rays. The aim of radiotherapy for prostate cancer is to try and cure the cancer or control it for many years. There are different techniques used to treat prostate cancer more effectively and your consultant will detail and explain the options to you. The different techniques treat the cancer while protecting healthy tissues and reducing side effects. Stereotactic ablative radiotherapy allows large doses of radiotherapy to be given very precisely to small areas. Sabre uses many smaller thin beams of radiation. The beams are directed from different angles that meet at the tumour. It can deliver large doses of radiation to the prostate. This means you have all your treatment over a few days instead of weeks. Sabre is not a standard treatment for prostate cancer, but it is currently being used in several hospitals. It does not seem to cause an increase in side effects. With the technology that we have, um, that X-ray beam can be shaped um, to, to any shape really now, um, but to surround the, the prostate and a tiny margin around the prostate. Taking a CT scan initially, can give your doctor a clear picture of where we want to target the x-ray beam and shape it to the volume. That way the, the prostate receives the, the target dose and we avoid as much as possible those organs surrounding the prostate like the bladder and the rectum. Planning a course of radiotherapy is very important because it ensures each treatment is given accurately. Your treatment is planned by a team of radiographers and dosimetrists under the supervision of your consultant. The reason we do planning scans is that we're all different shapes clearly and inside we're also different shapes. So what we're doing with doing planning scans, which can be a CT and sometimes an MRI scan as well, is obtaining very, very detailed pictures of the prostate gland and all the surrounding structures so that we can create a bespoke targeted treatment so that the radiation is directed at exactly the area we want to treat. A CT scanner is a donut shaped x-ray machine which is used to take pictures that the team used to plan your treatment accurately and to target the area that needs to be treated. This procedure takes about 10 minutes and is completely painless. The therapeutic radiographers will have checked the referral from your doctor and they will ask you to confirm your consent. They will also explain what clothing needs to be removed and help you achieve a comfortable position, which you will repeat each time you attend for treatment. Keeping still for the scan is very important, so if you are not comfortable, please tell the radiographer and they will try and make some adjustments. Before your planning scan, you may need to have a special diet or take medicine to empty your bowel. Your clinician will talk to you about enemas and how you will need them before and during your treatment. So you'll be given some enemas and that you'll need to use each day before treatment. And um, The main reason of that is just to try and keep the rectum as empty as possible, just to try and reduce any dose that that's going to get and any side effects that you might have. Eat and drink as normal before sort of coming into the department for your treatment. There's no particular clothes or anything that you need to wear, jewellery and all those sorts of things is fine. Depending on local procedures, you may be asked to drink water or to empty your bladder prior to your treatment. You may also have a very small amount of liquid passed into your rectum to help empty your bowel. You may need to do this before each session of radiotherapy. During the scan you will need to lie in the same position you will be in for your radiotherapy. 
To ensure you are always in the correct position for every treatment session, we will make some permanent marks, the size of a pinpoint on your skin. These tattoos show where we need to direct your treatment. When you come in for your planning scan, you will be given some little permanent tattoo marks. So there'll be one on either side of the pelvis and one on the top. And they basically just use each day during treatment to line you up and make sure that you're nice and straight. Um, when you come in for treatment, you will need to be lying in exactly the same position as when you came for the planning scans. And those marks just help us to do that. You will have image guided radiation therapy. This is a method of radiotherapy that incorporates imaging techniques during each treatment session. Your clinician will talk you through any other treatment planning that is relevant to you. A team of radiographers will treat you. You will be asked to lie on the treatment couch and the radiographers will use the skin marks to position you in the right place under the treatment machine. Treatment times are usually very quick. You will be in and out of the room in about 10 to 15 minutes. Your partner or a friend can come with you and can sit outside during the treatment. Most of this time is preparing you, like getting undressed and positioning you. The treatment itself only takes a few minutes. You will feel no pain or discomfort. We ask you to breathe normally and to keep as still and relaxed as possible. You can play music during the treatment. This can be your choice and played into the room or through headphones. Most machines make a noise. This lets you know the treatment is taking place. You will be alone during your treatment, but the radiographers will be able to watch you and listen via an intercom and closed circuit camera system. You don't see anything or you don't feel anything. Nothing touches you. Um, so when you, you come for your first radiotherapy treatment, you'll be um, positioned on the, on the couch as you were for the planning scan. Um, and we want to reproduce that position every day. If you have a problem, you just wave your hand and they come straight back to you. But once they're happy with everything, then they set the machine to deliver the treatment and all of that just takes a few minutes. But through the whole process, you don't feel anything. You don't have to do anything except try and relax on the bed as much as you can to keep still and the machine will work around you. Side effects of radiotherapy treatment for prostate cancer usually build up slowly after you start your treatment. They may continue to get worse after treatment finishes and then will gradually improve over the next few weeks. Your radiotherapy team will explain what to expect and how to manage any side effects. Please view our video on side effects for prostate cancer for more detailed information. One of the important things with prostate cancer is actually the outlook is excellent and with effective treatment, and this is something you can discuss with your specialist in your specific situation, most people and many people will live into old age with effective treatment. Following your treatment, your health professional will talk with you about what happens next. You will continue to have blood tests for monitoring, but your scans will not continue. We are aware that some patients may require extra support and help whilst visiting the department. If this is the case, please let us know either in advance or on the day of your visit and we will assist with your needs in any way we can. If you're running late for your appointment, just let the department know and please don't worry. We try our best to keep to appointment times, but delays do happen sometimes. If we are running late, we will let you know. Please visit the Northern Radiotherapy Network website if you have any questions or queries.